Hello, welcome to Not Fashion Hub, your solution to fashion, the best fashion channel in the world. As you can see on this channel, we do both female and male. All right, so welcome to Not Fashion Hub. Today, I'm going to teach you something very, very fine. I'm going to teach you how to design this suit pocket. You know, how to design this cover. This is a double width pocket. I'm going to show us how to design this flap here and to fix it so if you are yet to subscribe to my channel please hit the subscribe button and turn the notification bell on so that you'll be notified whenever i drop my videos if you don't subscribe you won't know my videos are coming up amazing videos like this i'm going to teach you how to make a suit yeah we're going to start that very soon so subscribe to my channel so that when i drop that video you will be notified welcome to Nat fashion hub let's start our class so our pocket is going to have a wideness of five and a half inches. That is the opening of the pocket. And these are my pocket turners. This just watch carefully the way I'm going to sew it. I'm going to sew it on that line. You see this line down here. I'm going to sew it on this line and also when sewing ensure that your line are very straight so I'm going to show it from where that mark that blue mark is I'm going to sew it from where that blue mark is to and I'll stop where the blue mark is this side so from there to this side is five and a half inches that is going to be the wideness of my pocket please the pocket is going to be very very straight and if you look at my pocket toners i folded them in by half an inch to enable me get what i want just follow when i as i as you follow me you understand much more better see those my pocket toners i folded them in by half an inch that's how you do it you fold your pocket toners in by half an inch and you sew and stop at the mark that blue mark there is what i'm going to do i'm going to stop yes this is a double width pocket you see i stop at that blue mark there so i'm going to sew I'm going to stitch two of these pocket toners each for a particular side so I've sewn that for the down part I'm going to now sew it for the up part as well so just watch carefully how I am keeping it the most important thing is that the beginning point They must all begin soon at the same place and you watch the way I'm placing it. Watch carefully. I'm going to stop exactly, I'm going to stitch and stop exactly on this line here where I started stitching the other pocket toner and then one key thing we are to you are to take note of when making a pocket like this you can see the way I stitch it you can see the way I stitch it If you look at the threads behind the thread lines, they are ending at the same point. No line is longer than the other. If it were, you will correct it. So, like I was saying, watch carefully how I am going to, to tear this pocket so as to turn it in. Now this is a very very crucial point whereby 
if you don't get it your pocket won't look fine so watch carefully how i'm going to to, to tear it at this point i'm not crossing that blue line there i'll do the same thing to this side you be careful not to cut crossing where you have where you started sewing you stop almost at the same point you started sewing if you exceed a little your pocket will be damaged so you are careful to cut and stop exactly where you started sewing and then you turn you push this pocket turners inside push them inside that's what we'll be having by the time we are done with it pushing you can you see our pocket is already coming out this is a double width pocket double width pocket now we are going to carefully match you see that little thing that's coming out there yes we're going to match it carefully yes we're going to match it carefully now if you don't match this properly and correctly you discover that your pocket will easily tear it will easily begin to show thread and before you know it it has loosed this applies to both back, back pocket of a trouser of a pant see the same you can see how neatly it is and also the pocket turners you know they none of them is crossing on the other one you can see how they are fitly you know sewn together and I will do the same thing to this side I'll match it carefully and be careful not to touch the body of the suit but just to match to stitch just that area because if you mistakenly touch the body of the dress you are making it will spoil it so you don't do that be much careful you can see our pocket we are almost done with our pocket We'll press it properly as I to appear. Can you see? After pressing it properly, you can see what we have here. Looking very, very smart. Now we are going to do our pocket flap. Before you do your pocket flap, you must ensure to measure and get the wideness of your pockets before going ahead to do to cut your pocket flap or you can call it pocket cover very important so you measure your pocket cover or pocket flap this fabric now we're using six and a half inches in length by wideness of three to cut our pocket flap or pocket cover as you may call it after cutting a fabric we're going to add we're going to apply or rather add suit gum to it so as to give it shape and a look and good feel so we'll do that And very important when you are making suit always have a piece of cloth that you are using to press the suit or when you are working at all whatever you are sewing have a piece of cloth avoid 
are on having direct contract contact with your fabric it weakens the fabric so you always try to have um, a piece of cloth that you are using to press with your iron so this is our lining we're going to line in our pocket flap reduce the lining by one inch because of the design we want to do so just watch carefully how I'm going to turn this pocket flap just watch carefully and you will definitely understand it's quite simple it's not difficult like I've always said in whatever you are doing accuracy is the watchword now watch how I am going to push this you see you see I've pushed the, the, the fabric backward thereby preventing the lining from starting from the beginning of the fabric or standing somewhere one half one inch into the the, me, the the measurement into the length rather of the pocket cover very very important So you carefully sew your pocket, remember sewing straight lines, straight lines is what gives your work neatness. And also makes it stand out, so straight lines cannot be compromised. So we trim our pockets so that we will turn it, when we turn it to be having something good to look at. We see I'm turning our pockets. So we have them. you can see now clearly so we are going to press it we are going to press it to give us a very very good shape before we attach to our fabric So always remember to apply water before pressing. Except you're using a steam iron. You're using a steam iron, yes, you still steam the dress, the fabric as you are pressing. It helps, helps the whatever you are sewing to lie flat and to have a very very good shape. It's very important. Always use a piece of cloth to press. I think I've said that before. So we are going to mark our pocket flap is going to shoot outward by two inches. The outward length of our pocket pocket flap is going to be two inches. So we we'll mark mark it and then we cross with a line so as to serve as guide for us to be able to fix our pocket neatly so you can see and then that side where the fabric is turned in inwards before the lining continued 
is to be towards the center, the front of the suit, not at the back. It should be towards the front of the suit. So carefully we are going to stitch our suit. So this is another key point to take note of. Watch carefully how I am going to stitch this this pocket flap. It's very important. So watch carefully. How I am going to stitch it. I like doing my things in detail so that you understand. It's not everything I like fast forwarding. So that you follow I understand it exactly the way it is and you will learn faster it's not like doing a complicated something when there's an easy way to do it so you see I am matching On the same line I had sewn before is very important. That line I had sewn the pocket before the line is already there. That stitch line is already there. It's on that same line I have stitched again. So you can see how the pocket is looking. It is looking quite fine and neat so we will now sew the inner part of the pocket using this fabric this lining the inner part the lining should be as wide as the pocket turners it should be wider than the pocket itself it will allow you the allowance to sew and turn. Just watch. You understand what I mean? <laughs> sorry, sorry for sorry about that. Pocket hole. It's a pocket hole. I'm about to sew now. The pocket holes are going to have. A depth of six inches. Yes. I'm going to have a depth of six inches. So on the same line, stitch line where we had sewn before, it's quite simple. It's just um, for you to just give attention to it, and you will come up with better ways, even better ways, to do this which you are learning here. So you sew it carefully on the same line carefully so on the same line so it all around
follow me I'm within the next two minutes we should be done with this book and there you was so you trim the excesses the excess allowance you trim it off you don't actually need it yes trim the edges neatly and we are done with a suit pocket you see it as easy as this you don't need to stress yourself you don't need to take too much all right so as you can see we are done with our pockets like I said before, if you are yet to subscribe to this channel, please hit the subscribe button and turn the notification bell on. You know, this is a suit, as you can see. It's a suit I'm making. And um, with time, I'm going to also teach us how to make a suit, how to cut and to sew a suit. Yeah, but for now, this is what we are learning. So in case you want to learn how to make a suit please subscribe to my youtube channel so that even when i start working on suits you will be notified when i start teaching you suit in detail when i start working on suit in details you also be notified thank you so much welcome to nat fashion hub your solution to fashion Thank you. Hit the, the subscribe button and turn the notification bell on. This is a, this is chalk. Clean it. So hit the subscribe button down the screen right there and turn the notification bell on. And turn the notification bell on. Thank you so much. See you in another video. Thank you.